welcome to Straight Talk with Annie Dwekeme. Thank you for joining me on the show again today. Hebrews 10, 7 says, Then said I, lo, I come, in the volume of book is written of me, to do thy will, O God. There's a book written of you, and God has specifics for you to do. Our topic for discussion today is, wake up, you've got an assignment. Our guest for today is a teacher, a speaker, a writer, and a worship leader. She's the host for the radio program, The River, for Joy FM Network 96.5 FM. Her passion is helping people step into the assignment. Please welcome Kim McKay White. Hey, Kim. Hey, Anne. It's good to be here. Thank you for joining me on the show. It's a great privilege to have you on Straight Talk. It's an honor to be here. Wow. I'm humbled. <laughs> oh, no, my. Don't be. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is a wonderful topic. Wake up. Mm. You've got an assignment. Oh, when you say wake up, what are we talking about? Well, I think that uh, a lot of times as uh, Christians, we can limit ourselves to thinking, you know, I'm a Christian. I, I go to church, mm. you know, I, I do the church thing, yeah. I, uh, you know, give in the offering or whatever, mm. but we uh, forget that God has specific things mm. for us to do, yeah. that he didn't uh, create us or uh, save us mm. to just sit dormant, but he has, he has a journey for us to go on a purpose, right? Mm. 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 And God, uh, sorry, I should, I should say, say as well, and God is... Um, God is calling us. He's mm -hmm. calling us to step into that purpose. Awesome. So when we say assignment, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, within our purpose, mm -hmm. within our destiny or whatever, there are specific uh, tasks, mm -hmm. as you will. If, we, if, I, if I was in school and I was given an assignment to mm -hmm. do, then yeah. it would be a specific task that I have to uh, submit to yeah. the teacher, right? Yeah, and yeah. Which, of course, in this case is God, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so as Christians, as believers, as people that mm -hmm. are God is using yeah. and helping us to fulfill our purpose, he, we have specific tasks throughout our life, throughout mm -hmm. our journey that He wants us to do to mm -hmm. complete, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's the need to fulfill these tasks or the assignment that God wants us to do? Um, I think it's multifaceted. Okay. Uh, the reason for these assignments, number one. Uh, I believe uh, is for God to fulfill His mm. plan for this world, wow. to bring the entire world to the knowledge of Him. Mm. Uh, but within that, I believe there are several areas. Number one, He wants to grow us. He wants wow. us to become everything that we can be for Him. Mm. So it's that's what's in it for us, yeah. is to grow us, to bring us to fulfillment wow. of our plan, to, which I believe just brings satisfaction. There's nothing more satisfying than mm. knowing that you're walking in God's perfect will and His plan, right? Mm. The second thing is in assignments is that we are also called to affect other people, mm. to affect other lives, yeah. uh, not just even as salvation. Sometimes it's just a part of our journey uh, that is going to affect another believer to help them. Mm -hmm. along in their journey right mm -hmm. so it's it's, a, it's about fulfilling god's plan mm -hmm. it's about him fulfilling his plan in us and him using us to fulfill his plan in other people wow so it's beyond us it is yeah it's not always about us big. not always about us wow yeah. that's big so how do i discover my assignment how do i know what god wants me to do or expects of me well of course being in the word mm -hmm. and being in prayer the prayer and reading God's word are the, are the are paramount, right? Wow. Um, a spending time in His presence mm. is is paramount. Mm. Um, uh, as well, um, some people say, um, if you found your passion, you found your purpose. Mm. I don't necessarily agree with that mm. because there's been a lot of things that God has required me to do that I wasn't passionate about. Wow! But I did them out of obedience to him and I did them willingly because I because I knew that God wanted me to do them mm. and they weren't always easy but God has given us specific gifts specific talents specific areas um, abilities mm. rather mm. Um, that we can operate in mm. and um, most of the time our assignments or our purpose or whatever it lines up with that for example um, I play piano mm. 
uh, and I never took lessons, the Holy Spirit really showed me how to play, right? So it was normal to expect that music would have something to do with my, with my destiny, right? Yeah, yeah. I always was a talker. I always like to talk, mm -hmm. right? As a matter of fact, lots of people think I like to talk too much. <laughs> but but I liked, I was always well-versed in, in speaking. Yeah. And uh, so now, later on in my journey, God is leading me more into uh, a teaching and speaking. Wow. You know, so, so the things that he's instilled in me, the abilities, the talents, yeah. the giftings, which we all have. Yeah. Everybody has them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He's using those wow. to use us to fulfill his purpose in mm. us and to further the kingdom. Uh, all to the glory of God. Exactly. For the glory of God only, yes. Wow. Yeah. It reminds me of the scripture that says, um, as many as led by him are the sons of God. Mm. So it's about being led by the Holy Ghost. It and sure is. And all about so, that, right? Because a lot of people, myself included at yeah. times, we get ahead of God, right? Mm. We get ahead of him or we think we know we're headed in the right direction, right? And, and we kind of blow it. Wow. So it's about listening to his voice, being led by him and not getting ahead of him. Yeah, I want to talk about the, I want us to talk about the getting ahead of God mm -hmm. part. Um, it's really dangerous. Yes, to, it is. Yeah. It very much is. Um, and I've done that several times. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done that several times where I've moved too fast, where I've uh, thought it seemed like the right thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of times something can seem really good. It could seem like the perfect thing, right? Mm -hmm. But we got to remember that not only God has a plan for our lives, the devil has a plan for our lives too, right? Mm -hmm. And we have to be really in tune with God to know and to wait and to really pray and be 100% sure that that is God leading us. Mm. Pastor Bightley gave me a book back a few months ago, um, yeah. really before I even started attending Word of Faith. Yeah. And it was by Kenneth E. Hagan, mm. and, I, and I hope I get the title right, yeah. The Plans, The Purposes, and Pursuits. Mm. In that book, mm. Brother Hagan talked a lot about the different times where he went in a direction that it just seemed like the right thing to do. It mm. seemed like the perfect, the next step yes yes but it wasn't and because and then he would he said to god he said you know i, I we're doing this we've taken the step we're doing this and it's not growing it's not mm. it's not doesn't seem like god you've blessed it what's going on right mm. and god said i never told you to do that mm. so sometimes we'll make a move because it seems like the right step it's yeah. a great opportunity yeah. it's a we, you know it's everything we've ever wanted mm. And, and it's just not, right? Mm. So so we're really in the wrong place at that moment. Yeah. But, and the thing is, is where God guides, mm. He provides, mm. right? And He opens doors and He strategically. I always say God is a master networker. Yes. I say that and I also say that God is a master chess player. He's, wow. a, he's the best chess player in the world. Yeah. He moves us around this board of mm. life, around this board of His plan and His will. And He puts us, He connects us with people, mm. right? To bring us into our purpose, to, mm. to, to help us to fulfill assignments. Wow. He puts things in place, um, you know. But the closer that you draw to Him, you just mm. know. Mm. Uh, I, I knew almost a year ago that I was coming to Word of Faith. Mm. The Holy Spirit showed me in a service at the worship bar one mm. night that Pastor Bightley had an assignment in my life mm. that he was gonna be my pastor. Mm. But it was 11 months before wow. I came here. Wow. But I came in his timing, yeah. right? Yeah. And I knew I was coming. Mm. I knew it was gonna happen, mm. but it was a timing involved. And because of the time, because of perfect timing, uh, I, I received a blessing from my former pastors. Mm. They released me with a blessing. I, I came awesome. here and it fits and, and, and yeah. I can, it, it just works, yeah, right? So you, it just is, it's just all about listening to the Holy Spirit because mm. he's always talking. Yeah. We just got to listen. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So it's all about listening to the Holy it Spirit. Is, it is being led. Yeah. And it's, it's a, and I've done it a lot of times mm. not being led. Mm. I've done, I've done, I've taken a lot. Oh, trust me. I've taken a lot of side roads. Wow. I've had to go around a mountain a few times, you know, because mm. I've just jumped or left at whatever seemed good. So I am, I'm not fearful, but I'm cautious. Yeah. I'm cautious, cautious to know his plan. Yeah. Because mm. you know what? I'd rather be a little tiny bit slow in mm. moving mm. than moving too fast. Yeah. Because yeah. it's rough when you have to backtrack and do it again. So you can take for granted the importance of walking with the Holy Ghost, yes. spending time with God. Mm -hmm. this, if you want to be serious about life and you want to fulfill your assignment, yep. you want to be a useful tool in the hand of the yep. Lord, you just have to follow Him seriously. You do. You do. I have found there have been times in my life that I have um, I've maybe been uh, confused. Confused yeah. or 
not uh, maybe a better word is I didn't have clarity on certain things. Mm. Maybe um, there was just a couple of things that were contradicting each yeah. other, and I just really didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So one of the things in ministry that I have found is really important, and I think everybody needs this, yeah. is we we need an inner circle, mm. and that inner circle is a group of people. Uh, it can be one person, two people, it can mm. be several people, mm. and and people within that circle could have different roles. Mm. This might be the person that I can run to and cry my eyes out. Yeah. This could be the person that I know is going to intercede for me. Yeah. This could be the person that just says, Kim, smarten up, right? Mm -hmm. So there's different people in this inner Different circle, heirs. right? Mm. But this circle of people um, uh, um, will be people that you can turn to, at wow. least one of them in that circle will be mm. somebody that you can go to and just say, mm. I don't have clarity on this. Mm. You know, could you pray for me? Do you have any counsel for me? Wow. And these are people, I call them my tried and true. Mm. They're tried and true because they already have a history with me of some sort mm. in that they have been, they have been, Tested. they've spoken to my life and they've been authentic yeah. and they've been accurate yeah. and they've, and they, and they've spoken things to me even when they knew I wouldn't like it wow. because they love me. These are people that want to see me fulfill my assignment mm. and they're behind me 100%, right? Mm. Not everybody will be for you. But there are people that will be for you. Uh, we're <laughs> blessed to have a pastor yeah. who was for us. Yeah. It's so yeah. evident, yeah. even yeah. in the short yeah. time I've been here. Yeah. He's for us. He wants us to succeed, that's, right? That's correct. So you have these people in your life that want you su to succeed. Mm. So that's important to have. And when you have questions, when you don't have clarity, mm. you can turn to them and say, I'm not sure what to do here. Wow. There's this opportunity, right? But I don't know. And I always say to people, too, if you have doubt, if, if you just something doesn't ring true, yeah. then really don't move forward mm. until you have peace. Mm. Peace will be your guide. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I have I, my pastor in Nigeria um, when I was doing my new NYS in National News Service in MENA. I know you don't know what I'm talking about, but... Um, God led me to this church. He's a great man of God. His mm -hmm. name is Pastor Ita. Mm -hmm. He affected my life in ways that I can't explain. And he, he used to say something. I might not like Mina. Mina is the name of the place he was um, living at that time right. where I was for the service. I might not like Mina, but I'm in the center of God's will. You know, you yeah. talked about um, you might not be as passionate about doing it. It's just being obedient to God. Right. So... You want to talk more about being in making sure you stay mm -hmm. in the center of God's will for your life. Right. Like the scripture I gave in the beginning, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7. Lo, I come to do thy will, mm -hmm. O Lord. So how important is it to make sure we're doing the will of God and we are in his will? Well, it's of the utmost importance because you can't fulfill your purpose if you're not in his will, right? Mm. And, and, uh, and and as I said, it's not only our life that is affected, it's other lives that are affected. And um, one of the things that I believe that your pastor meant when he said that mm. uh, was that um, he knew he was in the center of God's will. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't the most comfortable place for him. Yeah. Maybe there were much greater things he could have been doing. Mm. Maybe he could have been making more money. Maybe yeah. he could have, I don't know. I don't know him, yeah. right? But... He understood that at that time in his life, mm. he was exactly where God wanted him. Mm. Because sometimes wow. it's not all about us. Mm. Mm. There might be a place that God sends you. There might be a place that God places you. Mm. And it's really a nightmare. Mm. It's a nightmare. It could be a place where people hurt you, mm. where, um, you know, it seems like it's it, it's a horror story in a way, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But you are there to affect somebody else's life. Wow. You know how it's, it's an awesome thing when God brings people to us and they mm. affect our life for good, right? Yeah. But he has the same thing for us to do. Wow. Sometimes <laughs> it's about us affecting Others. other people. Mm. And there have been places, Anne, where I have been and I have just every minute just prayed to get out of there, right? Yeah. It's just like, oh, <laughs> please deliver me, God, right? <laughs> but I realized as time went by and I understood assignments and I understood seasons and things mm. like that more, 
I understood more and more that it's not always about me. Mm. Sometimes wow. I'm there because somebody needs to hear something that I'm going to say to them mm. or there's something I'm going to do in their life. And, and I don't know sometimes till it's over with, yeah. Yeah. you know, or until that very exact moment when it's like, that's what this was all about. Mm. When you look back later yeah. on. Yeah. So that's one thing I've learned. So it's not always cushy being in God's will. It's not always <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, fun, fun, really? right? Sometimes <laughs> it can be hard, but there's that fulfillment. That there's that fulfillment. Um, peace inside, mm. a feeling of fulfillment that you serve the purpose. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How do I go about the fulfillment of my assignment? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where to start from, so what do I do? Well, you've already started. Mm. You've already started from the day that you accepted the Lord and you told him that you would walk in his plan and his will for your life, you already started. Mm. It's, it's a different facets of assignments, different little assignments or whatever, but you just, uh, you just walk in it. Mm. You just walk in it as you, as you walk, God will bring you to that place and, um, and, and he will just direct you. So you, there's, you just have to be faithful. Just be faithful. And, and again, I go back to the same thing. It's all about listening for his voice and letting him direct you. And I'm learning that too, Anne. Yeah. Like, like right now, a lot of the stuff that we're learning, mm. it's it's new to me. It's If you had asked me, if we had had this interview um, six months ago, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to answer these questions. Mm. I never even heard about the word assignments. Mm. The first time I actually used that word was when I said to Pastor Bightley, I believe you have an assignment in my life. Hmm. I'd never used that word before, but suddenly I'd heard other people say it. Suddenly it made sense, understanding that it could be a season, hmm. it could be a long time, it could be a short time, but he had something specific to impart to me in my life. And um, so it just, God's will flows. It flows. His will in our life flows if we're listening, if we're in tune. And what I'm learning just like everybody else, is to hear his voice. Mm. And I'll tell you, I am somebody, I can really get in my head. I can get in my head. I can get in the flesh. I can get in my head. I can second guess things. I can talk about it. I can think about it. I can stress about it, right? Mm. But I am learning, just like you are, mm. just like anybody who's listening is, just to listen for that voice wow. and, and act. And, and he never leads us astray. Mm. He never leads us wrong. He never leads us astray. And he provides everything that we need for that hour, for that time in our life, that assignment. Wow. Pastor, you got to the same pastor I just talked mm -hmm. about. He used to say, he still says it. If it's his, if it's his will, it's his bill. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Where God guides, he provides. He provides. Right. That's, that's it. And that's always been the thing. And I've watched. I've watched when... Uh, I've watched God provide in mighty ways, wow. in mighty ways, right? And open doors that yeah. I never thought. I mean, if I was to tell you how I ever even became to be on the radio, mm. it, it's it's just unbelievable. Mm. You know, wow. uh, like I said, one of the things I've always been is very loud and outgoing. And some people didn't like those qualities in me. They wished I would be quieter. They wished I would be more serious, right? Well, you know what? <laughs> The reason that I got my program that I started out with at Joy FM, yeah. which was a show, which was a Southern Gospel show, playing mm -hmm. Southern Gospel music, but the reason that I that I got asked to do that was because I was loud and because <laughs> I was never serious. So those qualities that God had placed in me mm. up the road, wow. up the road, He knew that I was going to use those for His glory, mm. right? So, so. You know, I'm, I'm even talking a lot now. I'm just yak, 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 right? <laughs> but the thing is, is that that is, a, that is something that God has given me. He's put in me, mm. but he's using it for his glory and for his kingdom. Mm. And who would have ever thought the qualities that some people will just not even like, that will drive some people nuts, yeah. and we don't even understand why we're like that. Mm. God will take that, and he will use that. Awesome. It's an amazing awesome. thing. And it all... It all, the puzzle falls, uh, what's the word? Everything falls into place hmm. in the puzzle of our life, right? When we acknowledge that, that every facet of us, every character trait, every gift, hmm. every talent, everything that's created inside of us yeah. is for a purpose, wow. to fulfill a plan, hmm. the plan that he has for our life, the plan that he has for this world. Awesome. 
Mm. <laughs> also, so God's got a plan for my life. Mm -hmm. It's a plan for your life. A big plan. A good plan. A good plan. plan yeah. And even, here's a great thing, even about th things go wrong, because things go wrong. Mm. You know, every every person listening to this right now can say they've had something in their life that's been that's been sad or it's been bad or yeah. it's gone wrong. It hasn't gone the way they thought it would go. Mm. It didn't reap the benefits they thought it would reap, right? Yeah. But the Bible says that he takes everything and he works it for our good. Mm. Everything that happens might not be good. Every step we've made not might not be good. Every place that we are might not be good, wow. but it works for our, good. for our good and for our purpose. Mm. Pastor Stephen Aubin, who's one of the speakers at the worship barn, find? said this one night and it impacted me in a big way. And he said, God's purpose for us is always a good, wow. always good. No matter what happens in our life, wow. even when we blow it, even when we make mistakes, and I've made some big mistakes mm. in my life. Mm. You know, we could do a whole series if we wanted to talk about yes. Kim's mistakes, <laughs> the times that she heard wrong and did wrong, right? But he has taken everything and he has turned it for good mm. and he has used it because, you know, if I've been nothing else, I've done my best to be faithful. Yeah. And that's a thing. Mm. God is a good, he's a good, good father. Yes. And when we say, you know what, I think I might have blown it. I think I might have missed it. I think I might have made a wrong turn there. He just gets us back on track. Wow. He's amazing. Yes. He can't go wrong trusting God. Wow. I've made one statement and I say it time and time again. You will never go wrong by placing your ha life in the very capable hands awesome. of a loving God. Awesome. Mm. There's a song. I don't know if I should be singing what Sing, girl. <laughs> I put my hand in your hand, oh Lord. Mm. I put my hand in your hand, oh God. I'll put life this time. Mm. I put my life in your hand, oh God. I cannot fail. For that's Jesus right. never fails. That's right. That's right. And that scripture that says, I've said the Lord always before me is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Yes. So life is our fulfillment, our passion, our purpose, and our success in God is sure. Mm -hmm. If we follow hard after him. It is. It and is. trust him along the way. Amen. Amen. So I feel like it's time to wake up wake up you've got an assignment i feel like god is waiting on you it's waiting on me everything is in place that dream you have in your heart and that thing you feel god has placed in your heart to do and you don't know where to start from start from where you are yeah. start from where you are just take the step guess what he's placed people in place for you he's placed people in line for you he's placed helpers of destiny when you take the step of faith you see what's gonna happen doors will open up for you Hallelujah. doors will open up for you wake up wake up wake up it's time it's time it's time no more time to delay wake up onto your assignment and thank you kim i'm so honored to have you on the show your your our, our discussion has humbled me today I, normally I have this mouth and I can talk blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I have no words to say well Anne, I just want to say to you that um, I think that this show was great awesome. I've watched several episodes of it um, and, and I think it's great and I think I think it's a uh, it's an awesome thing that you're doing I'm I'm really I'm really honored that you would have me on and uh, and just uh, I just pray that God just leads you and guides you and blesses yeah, you amen. in this program because you're touching amen. lives. And that's what we're created to do is touch mm. lives, to touch people for the kingdom of God. Wow. And that's what you're doing. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm oh, so yeah. blessed. <laughs> thank you, Kim. You're wonderful. And thank you for joining us on Straight Talk today. I hope you've been blessed and you have a great day. Bye-bye.